good. Yeah. So far, so good. Okay, so let's mm. get right to it. Mm -hmm. One of the issues is what Tor talked about, all to do with the alleged double speak by members of parliament when it comes to the Finance Act 2023. And we saw objections by members of parliament, mostly from the Kenya Kwanzaa wing, against provisions of that Finance Act 2023, as it raised a myriad of questions on why they have enthusiastically voted for it in the first place. It started with local avocado farmers accompanied by some leaders who stopped a sensitization campaign by KRA who were turned up to sensitize the farmers on a requirement that businesses should electronically generate and transmit their invoices to KRA through eTeams. Later on, and the recent one, which played out this week, is the chair of the budget committee, Ndindi Nyoro, who urged KRA to engage the public before introducing new taxes. Let's listen in to some of the sentiments that were shared by leaders on this particular matter. Nanauliza all the government shirika zote za serikari, kama KRA, nanauliza kwa heshima, as you do changes, and especially increasing um, duty, like the one we saw recently, it is important to do public participation. Unaita wasikadau pamoja, unawauliza. Na nauliza kasua mkubwa wa domestic taxes in Kenya. Tafadhali, hiyo maneno ya kuogeza duty, from 2.5 million to 3 million. Tafadhali kwanza, ukatisho hiyo maneno, ita wanabiyashara, mukae nao chini, kwa sababu wegi walileta bidhaa, kama dora iko juu sana, wanaumia hapo, na wakiogezo wa hiyo duty, kwa jia ya juu sana, wataweza kuuza hizo bidhaa na hasara, ama they pass over that cost to the consumers. Hata kama hiyo sheria ilipita, hiyo point moja ambayo inaguza primary produce of the farmer, hiyo buwana makamu wa rais, hiyo uangalie vizuri na machoma wili. We know there is a challenge with the Finance Act. You cannot uh, make the farmers unable to produce. The finance bill is a very big document. And within the shortest time possible, you cannot expect a member of parliament who is so busy to have gone even to the nitty-gritties inside